All right, I've had another question about what do you do when you drop a stitch? So I've knitted up this swatch um, and I've dropped a couple of stitches here. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can approach this. I mean, there's easy stockinette, there's easy garter stitch, stitch to pick up stitches, and this is just a stockinette swatch. It's a very, these are very easy to do. It gets a little more complicated when you have something like, like this with lace stitches and you have like yarn overs and um, maybe a, a, a decreased stitch involving three stitches um, or an increased stitch involving three stitches. Um, it don't be hesit don't hesitate. I, this video is not going to go into that level of detail. That's what I like to call lace surgery. Don't be um, if you're interested in something like that. Um, it'll probably be more than one video, um, but you know, don't be afraid to pin it out like this to keep things from stop unraveling. I think the first thing you want to do when you see that you've dropped a stitch is you want to stop it. So, as you can see here, I've I let it. I just let this drop, and I put a pin in to stop it. As soon as I saw it, well, I did this intentionally. But you want when you see that you've dropped a stitch, stop it. That's the first thing you want to do. Then you want to figure out what stitch it is that you're missing that you messed up on. Now these are just stockinette. I'm gonna show you one stockinette and one for garter stitch. I'll show that even though this is not a garter stitch knit. All right, so um, let's uh, go. What you want to do is you want to get to where you can see where it's dropped, and you can see that these ladders are here. This is where the stitch is missing, and that's where you're going to create the new stitch for the, each one of these rows. So you can see it is dropped down one, two, three, four, four rows, because you can see four ladders there. So we're going to pick up four stitches for this. So you want to get over there to where just pull wise slip the stitches to get to that section. So when you get there, it'll, it'll be like this. Now this is where your crochet hooks can come into play. I'm going to do one thing real quick too. I'm very cautious when I do this stuff. I try to uh, prevent as many casualties as I can. I'm just grabbing what I have over there. I don't really care for these. They come off a lot easier. But if I can prevent a stitch from coming off or stitches from coming off while I'm working on this, that's great. So I pull my stitch up like that. And this is where you also grab a crochet hook. That's your best friend. You can do it with a knitting needle. Maybe I'll show you how to do it with a knitting needle. But the crochet hook is really the easiest because you just put your put it in your stitch like that. You go to that ladder and just pull it through. Whoops, this yarn is a little splitty. Hold on a second. Let me maybe just go this way. And you just pull it through, and there's your first stitch picked up. So you picked up the first one. You just go into the next go to the next one and pick up the next one. This is a stockinette stitch pickup. You see it's starting to form again. Then you got the third one. And then the fourth one. And there you go. And you can see you've picked up all the stitches. So that is fixed. And when you orient this back onto your knitting needle, you want to put the right leg in front. When you have a stitch, you have your left leg and your right leg. You want your right leg to be in front. So there you go. Um, that's fixed. You can see how that looks better. And it'll even itself out. It may look a little wonky right there at the first, but it'll even itself out. So now let's move on to the other one. And that one, I'll try to do a garter stitch pickup, even though this is stockinette, because garter stitch, picking, fixing a garter stitch is harder, and um, so you just slip on over to this stitch where you dropped it. You see, it's right there. 
And again, I just cap those off and pull it all the way down as much as I can. Because again, I don't want any more casualties happening. So this is the stockinette. I kind of dropped it down further. Um, let's see, we got, you can tell here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Drop, it dropped down six stitches. So, um, so you just undo that. You grab your crochet hook and you just pull it through. It looks like it's splitting right there. Hold on. I don't like the way that's looking. Okay. All right, so there we go. There's the first one. All right, so if that was a knit stitch. For garter stitch, it's you have to do you have to think about the other side on garter stitch you're knitting on both sides so you knit on this side and you knit on the wrong side when you knit on the wrong side if you're working it from the front side that means you're going to purl on this side if you just keep it you could flip it back and forth i don't like to do that i just like to work from one side so i pull my little leg in front to make a purl stitch and what you do is you just Pull it through. I'll show that again. I didn't really explain that very well while I was doing it. So the next stitch is a knit stitch. So you just, there we go. And now, now we're to the next stitch, which is a purl stitch. So you want to bring the, the next leg forward and over, or you could flip it, but I like to just bring the leg forward. That just works better for me. Again, there's always more than one way to do this. You prefer turning your work and just doing it a knit stitch way? That's totally acceptable. Okay. And you can see how the, you are starting to get that garter stitch ridge there. Alright, so the next stitch is a knit stitch. So the next stitch is a garter stitch. So pull that leg over and then just pull that through like that. And then there's one more leg. And since that was purl, oh, this will be a knit. All right, so now you can see how I, I fixed it if that was a garter stitch. You have to alternate knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. And let me show you one more thing. After you would take this back and put this on your needle. Again, orient, orient it with the right leg in front. So that's your stitch. Sorry. That's your stitch. The right leg is going to go in front like that. And so, so you can see, now you can see knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. And if you were doing garter stitch, it would match. You would have to match it each row with, you know, what it is. Say so like, this has got to be your purl bump row. That's got to be your knit row. That's got to be your purl bump row. You have to be able to kind of read your knitting as well to make sure you're picking the right stitch. For that row. If you're doing lace, it's even more complicated because you could be doing a knit two together, a slip two, knit past a slip stitch over. You could drop that, so it could be more complicated. Let me just show you what happens if you don't have a crochet hook. You can also do a knit stitch like this. Like, okay, so that there's a leg behind it. You can uh, leave your stitch on. You can put your stitch on your knit back on your knitting needle. Grab your, grab your working yarn that you're trying to make the knit stitch with. Just take it over and off like that, and that'll create the knit stitch. 
to do a purl stitch and this if say that last that top stitch needed to be a purl stitch all right so what you would do is you would remember again if it's purl we're going to bring this back leg in front of the stitch like that so you bring the leg the you work the yarn in front that you're going to be working with then you would you would bring the yarn up on your needle like that then your stitch and then you would purl it like that to create a purl stitch so you don't have to necessarily have a crochet hook to fix these stitches you can do it without a crochet hook again let me just show you that bring your yarn in front just purl it and bring it through and that's what it looks like that's a couple of ways to fix it. That that the question was for stockinette and garter stitch. If you guys want more information on like doing lace surgery, please don't uh, hesitate to leave me a comment down in the comments section below. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing very very well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Being able to fix your knitting when you have problems is a great thing to do because everybody makes mistakes and everybody drops stitches and you got to be able to be able to read your knitting and to be able to fix it. See, I can't even tell where I fixed that other stitch. This one, of course, because it's a garter stitch, but you can see it looks pretty good. And once you block it, it'll even it out even more. All right, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't hesitate to leave me comments and questions down below. Take care. Bye-bye.